Hey guys, it's Katie, and right now I'm gonna go get my tattoo done. Hey guys, so this portion of the video is just a process of how getting a tattoo goes. I'm literally just laying there throughout all of it and my tattoo artist is doing his amazing work on me. But later on in the video, I do do a Q&A of the frequently asked questions of getting a first tattoo, but also just a tattoo in general. And yeah, but I really hope you guys enjoy this video. it's Kitty and as you guys saw I got a tattoo and it's gonna be exactly two weeks tomorrow it is right here it looks super cute um and I just wanted to do a quick little Q&A of like getting a tattoo because I know I did the same process of like looking up so many different like places where to get the tattoo because I want to make sure I do it like at a good location not just like a random location so I had to look for that, I had to like look for the person I wanted to do it and I looked, I literally like the day before because I got it two weeks ago so it was a Saturday and on the Friday at school literally I'm like watching videos of like people's first time getting tattoos it was so funny so the first question is does getting a tattoo hurt and like I said it doesn't hurt where I got it it didn't really hurt you just feel like pinches but it does like there was like a few pinches where it's like a bit sharper than the other because it just depends where it's at and again like where you get it on your body that depends like that is where like you'll hurt more like you're, if you get it on your leg or hurt more i know supposedly like in the back of your shoulder too so it just all depends on where you get it and your pain tolerance how long does it take to heal um for me it took it's gonna take two weeks supposedly and I've got, again, this is my first tattoo, so I don't know what it's supposed to look like when it's fully healed, but it stopped peeling. So by like three to four days after I got the tattoo, it started peeling. So enter that picture, but it like started peeling and it, that took about like a couple of days and like more than a couple of days. That took about a week. And once it's done peeling, that's like usually when it's healed. So I'm guessing mine is healed. But I would text my tattoo artist. He's told me to send an update. So one thing for sure, like you should always stay like in contact with your tattoo artist with like any updates, like any questions you have, because obviously like Google is not always the answer. They would know, they would know more than Google. So you should ask them first before resorting to Google. But yeah, so by tomorrow mine should be fully healed. But again, I'm pretty sure it depends on like the type of tattoo, like the bigger the tattoo. I don't know if it takes longer or if it takes amount, the same amount of time, but for mine, it only took well i'm thinking it only took two weeks but i'll see you tomorrow so i'll update you guys i'll put some text on here to let you guys know if it did take two weeks the next question is what is the best time of year to get a tattoo i honestly think the best time of year to get a tattoo is not during the summer because during the summer like you're gonna be out more in the sun more you're gonna be going to like the pool the beach that type of stuff um and that's something you can't really do with a tattoo well for the first two weeks you cannot be like in water for so long. You can't be out in the sun. You can enjoy your summer and not have to worry about like getting your tattoo infected. I honestly think it's better to do like in the winter time so that like you don't have to worry as much. But don't let that stop you from like not getting in the summer because you can take care of it 
and still like go out also um when i got my tattoo like right after he put like a wrap over it which i'm pretty sure i have footage of he put like a wrap over it and i left that on for an hour and he said an hour the most i took that off and then i put like the dom dial and temperature soap and some aquaphor and that i could just continue doing i never wrapped it again i just continued doing that day and night and yeah and then in the shower um i would use dove unscented soap and i would just that's how i would clean this side of my hand because i use an exfoliator body soap and that's what you cannot use on a tattoo hey guys so i just wanted to clear this up a little bit that i only use the dove unscented soap like the sensitive skin one when i showered so i could like clean the rest of my arm and then i used the dial on bacterial soap day and night when i didn't shower so i had to resort to using for this side of my arm i had to use the dove unscented soap and then at night like out of it again later on i'll clean it again with the dial hand soap unscented and i also for the lotion um for the first few days i started i did it all before but then i sort of realized i'm just like i feel like it's like i started getting a rash and so I told my tattoo artist, and he said, okay, stop using Aquaphor. And then it started peeling the family, but then it's like, it looks so dry. So I'm like, can I like start using my lotion again? Like my regular like arm lotion? And I was starting to able to, like, I'm still doing this. I'm just putting a little bit on it. So yeah, hair still grow through my tattoo. So your hair still will be growing through your tattoo, but before your tattoo, your, your tattoo artist will like shave it down so it's like a smooth surface and your tattoo goes on fine, but your hair still will be growing. I'll show you guys a close up. My hair is still growing like you're bound in that stuff, but where I got my tattoo, yeah, I didn't really have like hair growing there. So it's kind of hard to see, but like the hair is still growing. So yes, it will. How long should I wait to go swimming after any tattoo? For any tattoo, you should wait until it's like fully healed. That's the best recommendation. And obviously, you don't want to get infected. So that is just the best recommendation. Just wait until you're fully healed. And again, to know that you're fully healed, just continue checking up with your tattoo artist, sending them pictures and that stuff. And yeah. How long before I can shave the tattoo area again? So. You can start shaving the tattoo area again after it's fully healed because since it is like an open wound, you don't want to like open it again. So wait until it's like completely fully healed and then you can start shaving it again. But obviously like be careful. Like make sure it's fully fully healed before you start doing that because you don't want to mess up your tattoo or like infect your arm or anything like wherever you got it. You don't want to do that so just wait until you're fully healed how much does it cost to get a tattoo so honestly tattoos are much more expensive than what i had imagined but it makes sense because it's like art being created on like your arm and it's like a permanent piece of art so it makes sense but going into it i was just like wow okay so this tattoo costs 180 and what like depends on the price it's the size the amount of ink and the amount of time it takes this tattoo only took about one hour, one hour the most, because it's at, like my artist, he had to like, he had, like he looked for the font for me. He looked like, cause I wanted this little heart. So he looked for the little heart for me. Cause I didn't know exactly like how to attach the heart. Cause I am not no little like editor. Like I like editing, but like I tried doing it and it did not work guys. So he like did that. So like that takes time. So you also want to make sure that you go to an artist that does that. Like actually takes time on you and that is just like brushing and has like another person like waiting right there you want to make sure they take time and that's what i really liked about my artist so i was really happy about that but it was 180 so and you usually like leave a deposit before you go like when you're making your appointment you usually have to leave like a deposit and of course that also depends on the artist sometimes it's five not 500 sometimes it's 15 sometimes it's 100 and then like at the end like you'll just pay the rest that's like left over but again it just takes time i heard um a girl i know she um did like a like leg one here and it's like pretty big and that was like 500 dollars. and like she tipped like 20 percent. so again um there is not a certain amount of tip you should tip like but i tipped up it was like 21 percent. so yeah so that's how much i tipped it was my first time um and i don't know i just like to making sure i i tipped at least 
20. So it's obviously not like not like a bunch of art you can create like it's not like drawings and that stuff It's just um words, but it's still some type of art So I still wanted to tip good, but there's not a specific amount of tip you have to tip Just know that you'll hear so many people saying oh my gosh Don't get a tattoo unless you can't tip at least 15 percent 20 percent 25 don't listen to that Obviously you still want to tip good, but and not like super bad, but just at least tip them something, you know next question is how should I prepare for my tattoo session? So the way I prepared is that I honestly just made sure they already they already like did this the day of. I mean he already did this the day of. He like shaved my um the tattoo area, but I wanted to make sure that I at least shaved the rest of my arm, even though I knew it was gonna grow back like a couple of days later, I'm still gonna shave again. But I wanted to make sure that I was still like shaved my whole arm because I shaved my arm, so I wanted to make sure I did that. Um so that like I wouldn't have to shave until like a couple days later i don't know if you guys can see it but i'm like still shaving around the area i don't think you can see it but i'm like shaving around the area I'm using any shaving cream because i don't want it to get like on top of the tattoo i'm literally just taking the shaver and like shaving around it and that's it i don't like want to do that until it's fully healed so but that's how i prepared i just made sure to shave my arm and then i also the day of i saw how like it's good to drink a lot of sugar so you don't pass out my tattoo didn't take that long so I didn't really have to pass like I didn't pass out and didn't really hurt but I still made sure to drink like sugar a um, big breakfast so like the longer the tattoo and also like the longer the tattoo you want to make sure that you bring some sugary snacks with you and a sugary drink so that you have it and also make sure that if you feel like you're like getting dizzy and that type of stuff like you tell your artist because that happens all the time so do not feel embarrassed if that like starting to feel that way they literally like happens all the time just make sure that you tell them because it's worse that like you end up like just falling down messing up your whole tattoo you like getting hurt or something then just tell them beforehand and they can just like solve the issue because they will just resolve the issue right away and they know how to handle that stuff because again that happens all the time like everyone goes through that basically so can i bring my own design so yes you can bring your own design i've seen so many like people like that I watch on YouTube and that stuff or that I know that have like little handwritten notes from like the family members that have passed away and that stuff or just in general their own design that they have made that they want it um on their body and I've seen so many people do that so you definitely can do that and you also I'm pretty sure like if you want to like be extra prepared you can just like let your tattoo artist like know that you're gonna bring in your own design but I just wanted to jump in again real quick that actually in order to even make your appointment official to get a tattoo you have to do like a little consultation and in that little consultation you just have to like communicate with your tattoo artist what you're going to be wanting to get tatted on you and part of that is like sending in pictures and this is where you would be sending in your own design that you want to get tatted on you so you just like take a picture of like the piece of paper like whatever it is this is where like the time where you do it during that consultation prior to make the appointment i don't think you have to and they will literally just transfer it into like their sheet or like scan it it's like this whole process they do which is so cool i'm just like how but um that's also like part of the cost like they do all this stuff before they actually start like tatting you up so yeah but you definitely can bring your own design and yeah it's so cool so like want to make sure that you communicate with your artist what you're gonna want to be getting tatted so that like they know about how much time it's gonna take and that stuff so that like they had like they book enough time for you and that they're like they're also like prepared as well so yeah i just thought of one last question that a lot of people back away like the reason why a lot of people back away from getting tattoos is that does a tattoo have to have like a meaning to it like a backstory and the answer simply is no it just depends on what you think like most people that i know obviously like have a meaning behind their tattoos but there's also so many people that have a meaning behind the tattoos and then like another tattoo on the same like arm or whatever that doesn't have a meaning it's just to get it because they like it. You do not have to have a meaning behind your tattoo. You can simply just get it because you want that piece of art on you and you think it's like cool or it looks great. You do not have to have a meaning behind it. So that is the one thing I have to say. But I will tell you guys my meaning about behind my tattoo. I do have a meaning about it. It does say everything happens for a reason with the heart and this is a quote that my mom used to say like first mentioned to me like years ago and i didn't like i didn't like really pay attention to it but then she can like she said it again and it like resonated with me like i don't know 
I just, ever since then, I just always, like, thought about it continually. Like, I always just loved that quote ever since, like, she continued saying it. And when it, I even wrote, like, I think, one of my college essays, which I didn't end up returning into the college essay, but for, like, a practice college essay, I even wrote about this quote. But it's just, like, how to look at the positive side of things instead of always looking at, like, the negative side of it. It's just a way of continuing to be positive because there's always a reason behind everything so something out of it is gonna like teach you a lesson and that lesson obviously you always want to be taught a lesson so that lesson in the end can lead to something positive so everything happens for a reason is a positive way of look, looking into like life and that stuff so yeah but that is the end of my little q a i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below another video yes you guys would like to see and see you guys next time i'm literally obsessed with my tattoo bye guys <laughs>